Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we'll see how we can bypass the latest iPad M series, including the M1 chipset iPad, cellular model with a signal and full eye services bypass with the SMD Activator Pro A12 Plus latest tool. In my last video, I have shown you iPhone bypass process, but in this video, I will show you how you can do that on the iPads also. So, if you want to watch, my last video just check out the description link in that i have explained each and everything in detail about this new tool and how it will work and what are the changes but yes the supported model list and the supported ios version list and all other information remain same you can check out on my telegram channel i have posted all the complete information regarding this new smd tool so in short all the process is same you can go to my telegram channel for the complete information and the download links so first you need to download this SMD Activator Pro A12 Plus 1.1 version that is the latest version at the moment. After that you can simply install it on your system. SMD tool is only available for your Mac but if you are a Windows user this app is not available for Windows. You can install dual boot Mac or Hackintosh on your system and then you can run it on your Windows machine. After that you can simply run the tool. Next you have to connect your device. Now first you need to connect your device to the tool and check the compatibility. If your device showing supported then only you can proceed and if your device showing not supported then you cannot. So you can check out the supported model list. Some iPads support latest iOS 17 directly but some iPad models only support iOS 14 to iOS 16 bypass but in future then you can re-bypass on iOS 17 but initially you have to be on the lower version for some models. So you can just connect with the app and it will show you your devices supported or not currently i have this ipad pro 11 inch m1 third gen cellular model so it is supported so i will just check the compatibility and proceed further after that you will get this message serial not authorized first you need to register your device serial number in the server for the registration it's very simple you just need to send me your device serial number and send me the supported screenshot from the tool and i will register your device for the prices and other information you can contact me there once your device is registered you can just reconnect with the tool and this time the tool will show your devices in the processing that means your device is in the batch timing so you have to wait for the batch completion and once the batch is ready you can activate your device from the tool so the batch timing i will put on the screen so you can pause the video and check it out after your device is ready for the activation you can easily connect with the tool again and click on start and the bypass process will be started so now let's wait for the batch completion Alright now it's a next day and my batch is done. You will get the notification from the tool itself or you can contact me on telegram channel. All the batch timing will be there. Whenever it's completed I will post there. After that just click on start. And now you can see it start bypassing the device. So just wait for it to get complete. So you can see within some 20 to 30 seconds it's done and you will get the success message on the tool and your iPad will be reboot automatically. So just wait for it to get complete on. So now you can see that my device is on the home screen and the iPad looks good. Everything is normal. So let me just show you from the settings. There is no iCloud and we will insert the SIM card and test the cellular data is also working. And if you are on the iPhones, it will work for the cellular calls also. You can check out my old video in that I've shown the complete a to Z process for the iPhone bypass for the above model with the same tool. Links in the description and you can see that my SIM card is read it and let me just uh, open a web page and show you the cellular data is working 
so now you can see the cellular data from the sim card is working good and you can see i can browse the internet with it there is no wi-fi required the sim card is working good and this method also work with the i services you can enjoy all the i services will work like icloud login facetime siri etc so everything will be work And you can check it out. We are successfully bypassed on the latest iOS 17.5.1 on my iPad Pro 11 inch third generation M1 chipset iPad that has fully supported iOS 17. And also, this method works with a fake reset and fake erase. So, if you tick that option from the tool in the starting of the bypass, you can do the fake reset and fake erase from the settings and it will not lock your device. That is a good feature. And this method is completely untethered method. So, if you reboot the device, it will not lock again. So, everything will be working after the reboot also. So, that's a good thing. So now you can see everything is working smooth like a normal iPad. So let me just show you quickly the fake erase and reset option and how it's work. So I'm on the settings and you can see I'm erasing the device. And it's a fake erase option. Obviously, if you restore or flash your device from the system or PC, it will lock. But you can re-bypass it anytime if your device is supported. But yes, if you do it from the settings, it will not lock again. So it's a good part. And many people asking me about the Face ID and Touch ID on the iPhones or iPad. Yes, it's working good. You can use Face ID, Touch ID, everything on the iPads or iPhone that are compatible. You can check out all the things will be working. If your device is supported, you can use this service. Now it's here. You can see on the screen, everything is good after the erase also. As I mentioned, some device only support initial iOS version from iOS 14 to iOS 16. But many iPhones or iPad models now support it iOS 17 directly bypass. In the future updates, more support of iOS version and model will be added. So stay tuned for that. So stay connected on my Telegram channel. Links are in description. So that is all for today's video session. I will see you in another one. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.